Rarely do the stars align granting me a day free of obligation, a day where I can indulge in my own desires. And what better way to spend it than immersing in the timeless tale of Anne Bronte's The Tenant to Wildfowl Hall through the magic of audiobooks. So let's rise, bid goodbye to our feline friend and embark on a journey where every word becomes an adventure. In my quest for the perfect Bronte audio experience, I've explored countless avenues, but it wasn't until I stumbled upon the Audrey app that I found something that worked for me. And what setting could be more fitting to listen to Anne's passionate tale than the historic grounds of Kipling Hall in North Yorkshire? Welcome to A Day with Anne Bronte, where history, storytelling and the rhythm of an audiobook helps me while away the day. The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte Chapter 1 A Discovery You must go back with me to the autumn of 1827. Well, resumed Rose, I was going to tell you an important piece of news I heard there. I have been bursting with it ever since. You know it was reported a month ago that somebody was going to take Wildfell Hall, and, what do you think? It has actually been inhabited above a week, and we never knew. Impossible, cried my mother. Preposterous, shrieked Fergus. She is called Mrs. Graham. Give me the child, she said, in a voice scarce louder than a whisper. Ruin! Mrs. Markham! Yes, it is spoiling the child. Even at his age, he ought not to be always tied to his mother's apron string. I trust my son will never be ashamed to love his mother, said Mrs. Graham, with a serious energy that startled the company. Is it so, Halford? Is that the extent of your domestic virtues? And does your happy wife exact no more? It grieves me to see you cherishing false hopes and wasting your strength in useless efforts for hypocrite, I exclaimed.
Would you be very glad, resumed she, to find that you were mistaken in your conclusions? How can you ask it, Helen? I will save him from them. Oh, Helen, Helen, you little know the misery of uniting your fortunes to such a man. I have such confidence in him, aunt, notwithstanding all you say, that I would willingly risk my happiness for the chance of securing his. Ah, true, I know she is an angel, and I am a presumptuous dog to dream of possessing such a treasure. But nevertheless, I would sooner die than relinquish her in favour of the best man that ever went to heaven. And as for her happiness, I would sacrifice my body and soul. The cream of the jest, continued Mr. Huntingdon, laughing, is that the artful minx loves nothing about him but his title and pedigree and that delightful old family seat. So... It's been raining all afternoon. It's really grim outside, so definitely worth being indoors. Um, the dog's hyper, and he's running around, so you might see him in a minute. If not, you might hear him. Put him that way. Put it that way. So I want... That's the dog. So before I make my tea, I wanted to give you, hold on a minute, tea. In Yorkshire, tea, having my tea is a meal, so like an evening meal um, or supper or whatever. I know it's a really weird thing, so you say I have a cup of tea, which is that, a cup of tea, or I'm going to have my tea, which is a meal. Anyway, before I make my evening meal, um, I wanted to talk to you a bit about the app that I used today, and I've been using actually for a little while now. Um, it's called Audrey really cool and um, I have always been a fan of audiobooks um, I find that when I'm cleaning or I'm driving or something like that I need the distraction it's a luxury isn't it when someone reads to you so having someone read to you while you're doing the cleaning is a it's a win-win really so I have been listening to it on and off for a while now um, not just Wildfire Hall but other books as well um, and also, I find when I listen to an audiobook, I hear things I might miss if I'm reading. I don't know why I can concentrate more and I get the full story. Um, also, it helps me wind down. On days when I've been really busy or I'm having a bit of a rough time, I find that having an audiobook kind of really distracts you. So, great for stress and things. The other thing recently, with all the rugby that's been on telly, um, and of course, Hugby is a big rugby fan, I found that I've been putting my audiobook on, 
curling up with my knitting and just being able to ignore what's going on in front of me. So that's nice. So the app is called Audrey. You can get it from the usual download places for Apple and Android and whatever. So it's great for your mobile phone. Um, and it's free to download, which is brilliant. And there are even a free books on the app in the library section of the app. So that's really good. So if you want to try it out before you buy a book, you can do it. So here's the library page. You scroll right to the bottom of the app and you'll see a button called See All Books. If you click on that and along the top you'll see there's lots of categories and if you scroll right to the end there is free. And they're the books. And actually the books are really reasonable. When you think about the fact that you're um, being read to <laughs> and it's the full book as well and it's being read to you by actors, all their narrators are actors, which is brilliant. You can tell the way they deliver it, it's very nice. Um, it's really, it's a really nice thing to have. Um, and you can go back and revisit the story, which is what I've been doing with The Tenant of Wildfell Hall. I've listened to it a few times now. Um, so let me tell you about it. I've got things written down because I'm not very good at remembering. So the library, a huge collection of classic books um everything from keats poetry to um the secret garden which i love so also under the library section you can search for books if you go on their website you can see them all and you can search by name and it gives you information about the book who the narr 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 narrators narrators are um and tells you a lot about it so that's really good as well um, so yeah you purchase per book so it's no subscription, there's none of this pay X amount each month and you don't feel you get your money's worth. You pay for the books that you want to read and they're not that expensive. Obviously they vary in price depending on the size of the book, but it's really reasonable. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is the actual app itself. I'll put some screenshots up so you can actually see what it looks like. So when you open your app for the first time, you come into the library and that's where you make your decision about what book it is you want to buy or you find those free books. Um, and then once you've chosen your book, you open it up and it automatically opens in the player section. And the player section's got usual play, pause, that sort of thing. Um, but you also have a really beautiful illustration. Each chapter has a lovely illustration. Um, and what I found really helpful is that there's a certain setting that you can have where when it comes to the end of the chapter, it automatically stops. So when you're doing that, I should really be going to sleep in bed, but I'm listening to a book thing it will stop at the end of the chapter and you can go, yep, had enough, must go to sleep. Brilliant. Um, or you can set it so if you're walking like I do sometimes with the dog, that you have it so it continues, so you don't have to keep getting your phone out and praying, yep, next one, next one. Uh, so that was a really nice feature. Um, there's also features to having it on in the car. Um, so that's the player section. Then you have the recap section, which is great because you can go back and look at the chapters you've read and it gives you a little recap about that chapter. But also, if you need to speed forward for a reason, you can do that. And each chapter is really clear. The name of the chapter, the number of the chapter, the name of the chapter and a small piece about it. So it's brilliant. And you can just press play and catch up or whatever. Um, it's designed to avoid spoilers as well. So if you open it up just to be interested, you're not going to say, oh, and by the way, so-and-so does this and so-and-so do that in chapter 50, and then you completely ruin the story. It's not like that at all. Um, so it's, it allows you to browse, but not ruin the book. Um, and then the next section on the app is characters, which is great because did you know in the Tenant of Wildfire Hall, there are 20 characters? I never knew there was that many. And each character is listed under this section and it will tell you a bit about them. It's so-and-so's mother or it's so-and-so's cousin or whatever it might be. So that was great. Um, and then the next section is guide. This makes it so much better than any other app. Each chapter has a section. By the way, if you can hear that noise, it's the dog. He's chewing a chew toy and he's just down there. She's being quite loud, so apologies. So the guide was really useful. To me, it really makes the Audrey app. Each chapter has um, a section 
with guide information. It could be quotes, it could be images, it could be a bit about what's happening in that chapter, um, the, the history behind it, about the author. There's loads of little treats in that guide section that makes that book just so much more special. And there was also nice little voice notes, and they were always nice to find. So that's the basic buttons on the app. Um, the other thing that Audrey do is read-alongs. Well, listen-alongs, you know what I mean? Where you, it's like a read-along, but you listen instead. Um, and there's a whole gang of you all listening along at the same rate, certain chapters each day. And you get the chance to talk about it and to comment and ask questions and advice. And did you think this and did you think that? And that's a lovely little community. This is what happens. You have a dog and you're trying to do a bit of chat and the dog comes along. It makes it impossible. Like so. Are you playing? Come here then. Hello. Yes. No, I'm not playing. I'm trying to do a video and you're not helping. I had not courage to contradict them then. And how can I do it now? The burst of kindness was for his paramour, the start of horror for his wife. Satisfied, he replied with bitter emphasis, that you are the most cold hearted, unnatural, ungrateful woman I ever yet beheld. The rose I gave you was an emblem of my heart, said she. Would you take it away and leave me here alone? Gilbert Markham, Stanningley, June 10th, 1847. Thank you for spending the day with me and thank you to Kipling Hall for allowing me to film. Oh, you must go visit. It's a magical untouched house and gardens. I've put the info in the description. Also, thanks to Audrey for letting me review their app. Info on how to get it is also in the descriptions. I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. I mean, having your support means so much to me. Thank you. See you next week. Bye.